guys, so this time I am going to teach you how to export a file from Final Cut. So once you have a lovely sequence like I have here of Clarissa telling us about her experience at CFJ, then you need to either share it, upload it somewhere, give it in as an assignment, and it's a very simple process. So if you come up here to File, Share, Master File. Now why Master File instead of all these other options? Master File lets you define with more precision the type of file that you're going to get both in size and in weight of the file. You can plug this directly into YouTube and Publish or Vimeo and Facebook and it does the compression for you but for what we want to do today let's go with master file. So now this new dialog box that's going to open up is going to show you all of the different options that you've got in terms of editing a file. So here we go. First of all it lets you kind of scroll through the video to make sure that it's the video that you want. It lets you, if you select the um, title, you can change it here to say Final Cut or All Done, whatever you want. And it also gives it tags according to the little events and stuff that you have. So you can decide to delete them or you can write new ones. For example, I want this to be about journalism. And these tags are really important because Facebook would read them, YouTube would read them, and they stay attached to the metadata of your file. Now, if you come up here to Settings, this is where the magic happens. Normally this format is there to video and audio and that is the highest resolution that you're going to get from your video file. And if you can see, I don't know if you've noticed, but as soon as I changed it to something else, this thing down here flashes to give me an estimate weight of the file. This bar down here is really useful because it tells you what format, how long it is, what kind of audio conditions you've got and also the video settings. So if you're going to be exporting to hand in an assignment or to use it for playout during a TV news day, you want the best resolution that you can. So come and make sure that it selects video and audio. It's going to tell you that it's going to be 2.68 gigs or however the weight um, is going to turn out to be for your particular file. And that's all you have to do. If, however, you want this to upload online, it might be easier if you come and select in publishing options, computer. Here you can also select the size. So if you want it just so people can see it on their phones, you might be better off compressing it further so it's smaller in size, but it loads up easier when people want to see it. This time, let's do it with the biggest resolution possible. And whichever options you select, you click here on Next. This new dialog box is gonna make sure that you know where you're saving it to and how it's gonna be called, so you can change this again. Maybe I don't want it on the hard drive, maybe I want it on the desktop. And as as soon as you click save, it's going to start doing the export. Now you can monitor the progress of your video by clicking on this um, percentage circle here. So you can see this sharing, it's going to start loading up slowly, slowly, and it'll give you a percentage of how far along it is in the process. I wouldn't do anything else with Final Cut while that is happening. So go get yourself a cup of tea or do some other stuff, do some homework, send some emails, get on Facebook. And as soon as that has gone all the way up to 100, then you'll have a video that you can share. And that's about it.